Yo, what's up? Let's talk about dropshipping real quick. Since about July of this year, I threw myself in the deep end to learn as much as I can about dropshipping and to try and make as much money as I can within one year. Here's what I've learned so far. If you think it takes a lot of money to get started, the answer is it does. These videos of people starting with $0 in the bank account or people doing like a $100 a day challenge or something like that when it comes to dropshipping, I don't think it's real. Now don't get me wrong, if you find the perfect product and you have the perfect ad group on Facebook, with $100 you can probably make enough to pay off the ad spend, but I really don't think it's gonna happen within a couple days and I don't think it's gonna happen within a week. Unless you're already testing a product that you know is gonna work based off of your previous tests, I think a lot of these gurus on YouTube are basically saying I'm gonna test this product for the first time ever and see if it works but the reality is behind the scenes they've tested the product and they know that they're probably gonna get a couple sales on the store so as soon as they launch the store they kind of already know that they're gonna get sales for the YouTube video and I think a mixture of it is like oh I'm selling my course but also here's what it looks like at the essence so you can get into it so that's my thoughts on that what I'm learning is that product selection is everything when I first started my product research really just involved finding products that were on the face Facebook ad library or products that were on Zendrop or basically like these super mainstream platforms that were provided to you. And what you don't realize is that everyone who is trying out dropshipping is literally using the same products that you are. So you have to go a lot more in depth into product research to try and cull out that kind of niche or that bubble of people that are just getting in and testing things out. Product research sucks. So if you're doing the Facebook ad strategy, I'm learning that it's not gonna be cheap. To test a product on Facebook, you need it to be running at least four to five days and they have an auction system. So if you're paying more money, you're gonna get in front of more eyes. That's just how Facebook works, right? So if you're testing a product that someone else is already running on Facebook and you don't have the budget to spend, if you don't have 10, 15, 20K to spend and throw around, then I'm sorry, but the reality is you're just gonna get outbid on Facebook and someone else is gonna make all the money that you could have potentially made. That's their system, that's how it works, and it sucks. So back to the journey of me testing some products on Facebook. I realized that I'm a videographer, I'm a photographer. I have the skill of creating high quality content. Why am I literally going onto TikTok and stealing other people's content for a Facebook ad? Just to test the product on Facebook right? No one is going to buy a product if you're using reused content. Everyone knows that it's reused. It's not real. It's not raw. It's not organic. I wouldn't personally buy that. So it just made sense for me to have the product in my hand, even if I was testing it on Facebook. And that is what I immediately thought would give me an edge in the game. So I started doing a little bit of research on like, all right, what's the best way if I have this product in my hand to start creating content and using these creatives for Facebook? Then I came across a strategy called TikTok organic dropshipping. Before I even go into what I've learned about TikTok organic dropshipping, here's how much money I've made on dropshipping since July of this year. Zero dollars. I haven't made anything, but let me explain my mindset. If you're good at marketing anything, you can make as much money as you want. Literally print. I know the value of video because I am a videographer. I work for corporations that spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on one ad. There's no way that they can budget this ad without knowing that it's gonna bring them money back in. So then when it comes to a product and it comes to testing drop shipping products, you have a couple elements that come in. Are you testing a product that's easy to film? Are you testing a product that people are actually going to want? Are you testing a product that's expensive to get? Are you testing a product that's gonna take a long time to arrive in the mail? It's a mixture between the proper amount of product research, the right timing of ordering a product, and how saturated this product is in the market. When it comes to organic, you're not spending any money on ads. You're really just spending money on the product itself. If the product is available on Amazon, then you can order that product and start creating content if it has Prime. The sucky part about testing a product that's already on Amazon is as a consumer, if I can just go to Amazon and buy a product, chances are I'm not going to go to a dropshipper store and buy that product. So it's really important to be able to get a product off of AliExpress or to create your own product based off of that reason because most people don't have it as easily accessible and they would rather go to your store and buy it versus going to Amazon because Amazon doesn't have it available. So what is TikTok organic? So all these platforms like YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, they have a short form video format where they really just push the content on there. So our goal is to make our content look as natural and as stunning as possible so it goes viral and people will want to buy it. How do you go viral? 
That's the question of the century, isn't it? You can either go viral with a controversy, you can go viral by introducing a product no one has seen before, you can go viral by just the product itself. So when you're choosing your product for product research, you have to look at the product's attributes and you have to say, how can I market this product? Me personally, I can't market a beauty product. I'm a dude. If I'm creating a video every single day for this product, it's gonna be very tough if it's a makeup product and I'm trying to sell it. Jewelry is a specific niche. It does great for Facebook ads. It's really hard to sell on organic. So you really need to leverage the skills you have in marketing, in comedy, in controversy, in high quality videos, and everything that you can do to create a perfect TikTok. And that process itself takes about a month, a month and a half, sometimes two months to learn. Just learning how to make a good video takes a while. I am a videographer. I've been doing this for six years. I am really well crafted in what I do and my work and I know how to use all editing softwares. I know so much about lighting. I know a lot about audio, but when it came to creating an organic viral TikTok, it took me 30 days to get it done because there are so many more elements that are involved. You're playing with the algorithm. You don't know if the video has enough controversy. You don't know if the pacing's right. You don't know if people are gonna resonate with it in masses. So all of these come into play when it comes to TikTok organic. Anyways, that is all to say that this is what I have learned so far in the past couple of months. My new strategy, and I'm sticking with it, is TikTok organic. I'm not gonna do Facebook paid ads. I am on the organic trend all the way to the top until I make a million dollars. Thank you guys for listening in. This is my latest dropshipping update. I'll see you guys on the next one.